Hello Church and welcome to Liberty Church Manzini's prayer gathering. We are here together with mom and dad, our prayer coaches as well as our care directors. I'm so thankful that you have joined us. The theme of our prayer today is revival. Mm. You know the Lord promises in Acts chapter 2 verse 17 that in the last days I will pour out my spirit. This is the Lord's promise and we are finding as we look around in our day right now that we are living in the last days and as much as it brings the challenges that we have to deal with it is also a reminder that there is a coming revival Amen. and the Lord wants to pour out his spirit mm -hmm. and you know to illustrate what it means for us to have the spirit be poured out on us I have this cup here and this cup is going to be filled with this water that represents the Holy Spirit. And the only reason why this water can go into this cup is because this cup was empty in the beginning. And so as we begin our prayer time, I want us to know that revival is assured. I want us to know that the Spirit of God is assured. The question is, how much capacity? So this morning, be invited, be encouraged to empty yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, let's empty ourselves of the worries of our day. Let's empty ourselves of disappointments. Let's empty ourselves by forgiving those that we need to forgive. Mm -hmm. Let's empty ourselves of everything that stands in the way of the Holy Spirit coming. Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit is being poured out. Mm -hmm. The Lord has promised, I will pour out my spirit Amen. upon all flesh and so he is pouring out his spirit upon you my hope and my encouragement my invitation is let's empty ourselves of all of these things and come as vessels that are ready to encounter the holy spirit Amen. Amen. let us pray father as we begin this morning we empty ourselves of yes, ourselves. Yes, we empty, empty ourselves of everything that stands in the way yes, of the Lord feeling Spirit. of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, Lord. And Lord, we invite you yes. to fill us. Yes, As you pour out your Spirit, yes. Lord, fill us. Yes. Fill us until our cups overflow. Yes, Lord. Fill us until there is no room, until it is overflowing. Yes, we pray that this revival will come in our families. Yes. We pray that this revival will come in our homes. Yes. We pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that we will experience the fullness of all that which you have promised Thank your you. people. You. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 going to take some time to worship together and in this spirit in this atmosphere of expecting the revival of God that he has promised we're gonna ask him to open the floodgates of heaven and pour out his spirit on all flesh in our homes in our nation and all across this world let's worship him father we worship you praise you God yes Lord holy spirit
share an encouragement as we cry out for revival and Lua saying we want to be empty cups and maybe you are feeling too empty maybe you feel too hungry or too thirsty and I want to encourage us that if that's where you are that's exactly where we need to be yes you know there's something about the physical body that applies spiritually is that if we fill ourselves up with the wrong things we are full but we're not full of the right things and things make us sick we end up getting things that are not good for us but they're not giving us any nutrients yeah and so sometimes like a good parent we tell our children no more cake and maybe God has taken away some cake in your life we tell them you know too many sweets no more no more coke or they just want meat all the time right no more meat it's time to get hungry so that we can eat the right things yes. and so I just want to encourage us church I want to encourage whoever is listening if you feel hungry and thirsty because God has removed some things that were filling you up but not really making you whole we are exactly where we need to be empty cups that the Holy Spirit can fill because he is pouring out his spirit in the last days yes Thank you, Father, for yes. all that you are doing. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, we acknowledge you. We submit ourselves to you. We submit all our plans, yes. all our plans, all our intentions. Yes, we lay them down at the cross. Yes. And even this prayer meeting, as we pray, may we pray according to your spirit. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 When you hand over to Dad, who is going to lead us in praying over all believers. Mm. We pray according to the word in Ephesians 6. Mm. The scripture reads in chapter 8, in verse 18 and 19. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Mm. Actually, the Apostle Paul says, and pray for me too. So this morning, we are praying for all believers everywhere. Yeah. Amen. At this time in our uh, history, was, as the world is going through the pandemic, we need the encouragement from the Lord himself. Amen. Yes. We should not feel that because of what is going on, it's like, God is a bit far, but He's near. Yeah. Yeah. And so this we this morning we choose to pray for that. Yeah. So shall we pray? Yes. Lord God, our heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that Your Word says You never leave us nor forsake us. Yes. yes. You are always there for us. Yes. yes. This morning, Lord, I pray that each and every believer mm. who know, who sense in their spirit that the Lord is with them. Even as we are expectant of the revival, Lord, we know yes. that the revival will only come if the Spirit is falling on us, if we are yes. being led by the Spirit. Yes. yes, Lord. Therefore, this morning we choose to believe your word. Yes. That you are with us. Yes. Lord. That you can see all that is going on. Yes, Lord. And Lord, that according to your word, those who put their trust in you will not be shaken. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. This morning we choose to put our trust in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we pray that every believer out there will know that God is with him, with her with them yes and that they are not alone yes. oh yes. jehovah god thank you lord for what you have done already for us yes. what you are doing and what you are going to do yes lord. our god and our savior yes it's all about you lord yes. we thank you lord that yes. when we look to you lord we shall receive yes lord we receive what you have for us lord fill yes. our cups to overflow yes lord. yes oh spirit of god mm. thank you lord for what you have done for yes. us Yes, for what God. you are doing and for what you are going to do. Yes, God. Oh, Lord God, our Heavenly Father, may you encourage us, may you encourage each one of us as believers, Lord, yes, that yes. we are not alone, that yes, you are there for us. Yes, yes God. No matter what is going on around us, yes, no matter what it seems to be a discouragement, yes, but Lord, you are with us. Yes. You can see our needs. Yes. You know our needs even before we ask. Yes. Yes, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Yes, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Before I pray, I would just like to share briefly that since I gave my life to Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior, one thing that has been consistent is that I can trust Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. I can Amen. trust him with all my heart, mm. just as we have prayed. He is faithful, and he is there for everyone. Yeah. He yeah. came so that all would believe in him and receive salvation. Yeah. 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 And I would like to read from the Bible, you know. I would, I would like to read from 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise as some people think. No. He is being patient yeah. for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, you, I don't know where you are at. I don't know what is going on in your life, but this is the word for us all. The Lord does not want anyone to be destroyed. It is for our sake that it looks like he's being slow because mm. he is waiting for us all to repent. Amen. Yeah. So during this time that we are expectant of revival, let us take advantage of this revival and seek him yeah. and receive this weight Amen. that we are going to repent we are not going to be destroyed. Yeah. I'm going to pray that salvation will be received as all over the world, as the word is being preached. Mm. Yeah. Repentance is taking place Amen. so that we are not being destroyed, but there's repentance and salvation. Let us pray. Mm. Almighty God, yes. Abba, Father, mm. our Heavenly Father, yes. Yes, thank Lord. you that you are faithful mm. Yes, to Lord. each yes, and Lord. every person whom you created mm. in, in your image. Mm. You love us all and you have a good plan for us all. Yes. A plan that we shall all, that we should get saved yes, as we Lord. believe in Jesus Christ yes. as our Lord and Savior. Father, I pray, Almighty God, that God's word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, as it is being preached, during this revival, hardened hearts are being softened. Yes. Maybe there are hearts that have heard God's word, but have not really grasped the, the word of salvation that they should get saved. I'm praying, Father, for softening of yes. hearts. Yes. Yes. I'm praying, Father, that where the word has not yet been received, by your mercy, Lord, by your grace, by your power, that not only will it be received, Father, but it will bear fruit, mm. yes, Almighty Father. God. Yes, yes, Father. Father, we are praying that where there has been discouragement, mm. where there has been deception, yes. where there has been lies, Father, where there's been doubt, Father, your, your Holy Spirit, Father, would convict mm. yes. Yes, and Lord. bring the truth mm. Yes, and Lord. bring the light mm. and yes. bring your love yes. so that salvation will be received. There shall be re repentance yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, yes, that Lord. during this time of revival, as revival is happening in our personal lives, in our families, mm. in our churches, it will be happening in all places all over the world. Mm. Yes, oh Lord. Lord, we are receiving, Almighty God, yes. this blessing mm. yes, that revival Lord. is taking place. It's harvest time. Yes, it's harvest Lord. time for it's time for the harvest to come in mm. for the kingdom of God is here. Father, yes. we thank you that you hear us. Yes, we Lord. thank you that you are doing exceeding abundantly 
more than we can think or imagine mm. as salvation is taking place revival is taking place yes, oh Lord. thank you lord in the name of jesus christ may your name be praised yes, oh god. Lord. Mm. may your name be glorified yes. in the name of jesus christ we pray amen amen, amen. Yes. hallelujah yes. thank you jesus amen amen amen, amen. we're gonna amen. carry on praying and i'll read from colossians 4 and lead us in this next point paul the apostle is writing to the believers at this specific place and he said from verse 2 devote yourselves to prayer being watchful and thankful even as we are doing this morning and then he said as well and pray for us too that god may open a door for our message mm -hmm. so that we may proclaim the mystery of christ for which i am in chains pray that i may proclaim it clearly as i should mm -hmm. paul was an apostle who was going out preaching the gospel to different people as God had called him. And right now we're going to pray for those who are preaching the word of God. We're going to pray for our pastors. We're going to pray for those who, have, who are going out reaching the lost in different places. People who are in what we call these days full-time ministry. Those who are serving God in various places. And I would like for you to be intentional about this one or rather to be specific as we pray about this one and just think of maybe your specific pastor. You're welcome to pray for Lou and I. We appreciate those prayers and we know that it's only through them that we do this work. Mm -hmm. We were gathered here, you know, with pastors from around Manzini. Let's think of pastors that we know around our city. Mm -hmm. Let's think of that pastor that we know that we can see is giving up hope, maybe losing strength. You know, Paul says he was in chains and there's some who might be in some physical chains or spiritual chains just going through difficulty. Let's think of the pastors right now who are wondering what church means and what it looks like because we can't come together in person the way we used to or we can't yet have children in church and so we have all of these concerns. Let's think of some specific people and let's bring them before the Lord, praying that God may open doors for our pastors and our leaders and all of those serving him in full-time ministry. And let's also pray that we would proclaim the gospel true, clearly, rather, as we should. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. Father, I thank you yes. for every yes. pastor, yes. every church leader, yes. every yes. missionary, yes. every person that is serving you in some form of full-time ministry Amen. right now, Lord yes. God. I thank you that you have called each one of us, God, yes. and you have given us the grace to do this. Yes. So I pray, first of all, Lord God, for a revival in our understanding, Lord. Mm -hmm. I yes, pray, God. Heavenly Father, that we would realize, God, even as we have been saying, that mm -hmm. what you have emptied us of is because you love us, Lord mm -hmm. God. Yes. That maybe we feel like things that we are used to have been stripped away mm -hmm. from us. I pray, Lord God, that we as pastors and leaders, mm -hmm. as ministers of the gospel, Lord God, that we would allow ourselves to be mm -hmm. hungry for you, Lord God. Yes. Yes. I pray. Father, yes. over pastors here in the city of yes. Manzini, a hunger for the gospel of Jesus Christ, a yes. hunger for the word of God, a hunger for yes. a move of the spirit of God. I yes. pray, Lord God, that you would birth in our pastors, Lord God, a hunger and a thirst for more of you, Lord yes. God. Yes. I also pray, Heavenly Father, God, even as we were hearing, Lord God, um, in the teachings, Lord God, Father, regarding the word of God. I pray mm -hmm. that our pastors, Lord God, would take up the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. Yes. And I pray that they would fight this battle using mm -hmm. that sword, God. Mm -hmm. yes, I pray Lord. against every deception and every lie of Satan that says yes. there won't be enough money in the church. Every yes. lie and deception of Satan that says people are no longer going to be committed in the church. Mm -hmm. I pray over us the truth of the word of God, yes. even yes. as we hear right yes. now that revival is yes. coming yes. Oh, and yes. that our churches are going to be full yes. as the lost come in. I pray yes. over us yes. just a, a, a holy vision that yes. is from heaven an understanding yes. of what God is doing yes. that God will provide the finances for the work that needs to be done yes. that God will provide so that we are able to do the work and to take care of people and to reach out to many yes. more yes. I pray over us a revelation of truth and understanding yes. and I pray that we would receive that I pray God even as mom prayed for those um, who are not safe to have soft mm. hearts, God, I pray that our hearts as leaders would be soft so we can yes. receive, God, what you mm. have for us. Yes. Lord God. Yes. Father, I also just pray right now for a protection yes. upon every pastor, every mm. yes. leader, every missionary, every mm. person serving you in ministry, uh, God. Yes. I pray a protection upon mm. our spirits, 
our yes. souls and our bodies. Yes. I pray Father. that you protect us from yes. every evil mm. demon of Satan. Mm. You have given us victory. Mm. I pray yes. for your protection and that you help us to walk in that victory. I yes. pray that you protect our minds, mm. Father, from any lies, mm. yes. from anything that might cause us to be depressed. Yes. Protect us, Lord God, even from self-centeredness, yes. Lord God, yes. that might trap us. Mm. Protect yes. our minds, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And protect our bodies. God, mm. as we go out, as we pray for people and continue to minister, protect mm. us, Father, yes, from COVID-19 yes, and every yes. other sickness and yes. every other harm. I yes. pray for a special protection. Yes. protection. And God, I just release your blessing. Mm. Yes, Lord. I release your blessing, Father. I speak this word mm. over every pastor in this city. Mm in this nation, mm. over every pastor across this world, mm. over every person that is serving you in full-time ministry, mm. God, whether as a pastor, a missionary, mm. a leader in church, Lord mm. God, I pray the words of number six, mm. the blessing, God, that you commanded the priest to mm. give, I pray um, this blessing, Lord God. Mm. May the Lord bless you yes. and protect you. Mm. Yes. May the Lord smile on you mm. and be gracious to you. Mm. Yes. May the Lord show you his favor yes. and give you his peace. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Father, we will thank oh. As we continue to pray, I would like to take some time to pray over our business leaders. You know, every time we hear the word revival, especially as Christians, we think about church, and that is good. But the church is a light that the Lord has put as a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. So whether we are in business or we are at home or we are at school, we are a light. And I would like to take a moment and pray for all of our business leaders as they revive their businesses. Mm -hmm. As people begin to go back to the marketplace, whether it is to restart a career or it is to restart a business or maybe start one from the beginning. My prayer is for the spirit of revival to be upon us as we go into our businesses, as we go into the marketplace, whether you are selling tomatoes or you are selling cell phones, whether you are going across the border or you have to stay in the country. My hope is that through all of these businesses, we will be lights mm. that shine through the good deeds that we do. Yes. Living a life that is a life of integrity. You know, the spirit of revival, I really believe, is the spirit of the fear of God coming yes. upon us yes. to cause us to hate what is evil and to love what is good. To mm -hmm. hate even the clothes that are stained with sin. Yeah. So let's pray for all of those who are Christians as they go into business, mm -hmm. that they may go into it with the spirit of revival. Amen. Yes. Let us pray. Yes. Father, we lift up all of the business leaders mm. as they restart business as yes. commerce is restarted people opening up schools yes. people going back into the marketplace mm. people going back into the workplaces mm. in one form or another mm. we are praying for revival mm. in the marketplace we yes. pray that every christian who runs a business every christian who serves in an organization mm. in a business will be a light yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. As we walk in the spirit of the fear of God, I pray that will be light. Yes. Lord, your word says, let your light so shine yes. that people will be able to glorify our Father in heaven yes. when they watch our conduct. Yes. I pray revival over these businesses. Yes. I pray for the ability to make wealth, Lord. Yes. I pray, oh Lord Jesus, that you would show our business people the opportunities that are available yes. in this season. Yes. I pray, Lord, against the spirit of complaining. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that we would walk thankful yes. for the times that we are in, yes. that we can see you moving, O oh Lord Jesus, yes. in the opportunities that you have given us, yes. O oh Lord. I pray for a spirit of thanksgiving that yes. will enter your gaze with thanksgiving yes. in our hearts, O oh Lord yes. Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would open yes. our eyes to yes. see opportunities. Yes. Opportunities to start new businesses. Yes. Yes. Opportunities you, to pivot and do business differently. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that we will maximize the opportunities yes. to reach people that we have not yet been reaching, O oh Lord. Yes. To save people in ways that we have not yet been saving. Yes. I pray, Lord Jesus, that as business people, I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that as employees and as employers, we will do it with a servant heart. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that you set us free from the bondage 
to the spirit of mammon. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord yes. Jesus, that mm. you cause us, O oh Lord Jesus, mm. to be faithful mm. in the time. Yes. Be generous and mm. richly generous at yes. it, O oh Lord. And I pray that in all that we do, we will be faithful yes. men and women of God. Yes. I pray for the success of business. Mm. Yes. I pray for the revival of business. Mm. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that businesses that have been dormant for a long time mm. would come back up, Lord mm. Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, for the right support mm. in financing. Mm. Yes. I pray for the right support yes, in management. Mm. Yes. I pray for the right support yes, in connections, mm. O oh Lord Jesus, in relationships. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, that those who feel like they are alone will see how you have placed many angels around us yes, to Lord. protect us mm. and to lead us and to guide us. Mm. And you have put community around us mm. yes. that we would not do this alone. Yes. Father, I pray specifically for the business leaders in Liberty Church Manzini mm. yes. that in all that we do, yes. we will do it well. I pray yes. that we will do it in love. Yes. I pray that we will do it in truth. Yes. I pray that we will do it as a family. Yes. I pray, O oh Lord Jesus, that we will walk in the freedom that comes from the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yes. And I pray that these businesses will be used yes. to bring others into the kingdom of God. Yes. Mm. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to look at Psalm 91, and I'll read just the first few verses. But I encourage you to read the whole chapter at some point, verse 1, 2, and 3. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. Mm -hmm. We're going to stand on this promise as we pray for those who are going back to school. We're so thankful that things continue to open up and we realize that as our children go back to school, as our teachers go back to school, there is a lot more that is opening up and people could be afraid. And maybe even as you're listening right now, you feel afraid and you feel nervous. We're going to stand on this word, on this promise from God. God promises his protection over us. Yes. And so as we go out and we do what we do, yes, we will use common sense and wisdom and do what we can, but we will remember that it is God who protects us. Yes. That psalm goes on to talk about how he releases his angels. Yeah. And throughout the Bible, it tells us that his angels are there. You know, we're not fighting this on our own. Mm. The Holy Spirit is in us and he is strengthening us. Mm. And God's angels, supernatural beings, are all around protecting us from things that we cannot even see. Mm. Yes. So we're going to pray in agreement with that, mm -hmm. specifically over those that have gone back to school, all students, all teachers, all parents, all admin staff in schools, everyone that is going back to school right now, let's pray that they would experience this promise um, during this time. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your word. Yes, and God, I pray right now, Father, I just mm. rebuke the spirit of fear. Mm. I rebuke the spirit of worry and anxiety mm. that mm. might try to come upon us in mm. Jesus' name. Mm. God, I also pray, Father, that you would help us to choose truth. Yes. I pray that you would help us, Lord God, to focus on what you have said, mm. Lord God, that you will protect us. Mm. That God, as we get on a kumbi to go to school, that Father, as we sit mm. next to someone in a classroom, mm. Lord, that as we teach and talk to the students, mm. God, that as we do our various jobs, Father, Lord God, in the mm. school setting, mm. we would cling to the word that you have spoken, mm. that you will protect us from the deadly pestilence, yes. that you will protect us from the enemy's snare, yes. that we will find refuge, protection in you. Yes. Yes. And so I pray that protection, Father, mm. over all of those going back to school, Lord mm. God, mm. that they would experience your supernatural protection, Lord yes. God. Lord. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would um, just give peace, Lord mm. God, Father, mm. as we take this word, as we cling mm. to this word. God, mm. I pray that you would release a peace mm. upon us mm. that surpasses understanding, mm. that we would know that God has gone before us yes. and God has gone behind us. Yes, and Lord. he is indeed our refuge. Thank that as the God. psalm says, we will say of the Lord, he is our refuge. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank amen. You. amen. As we continue praying, I'm going to ask uh, Ted to pray over the leaders. Um, leaders are a gift from God. Mm -hmm. Leaders are an instrument in God's hands. Mm -hmm. And we would like to commit all of the leaders here in Eswatini 
and all over the world mm. into God's hands. We are praying for wisdom. Mm. We are praying for good judgment. Mm. We are praying for the spirit of insight, mm. for the spirit of might, for the ability to do more mm. than they could have ever done in mm. their own strength. Mm. Yes. And we are also praying for their protection, mm. yes. protection over their families. Mm. You know, like Zindi said, protection spirit, mm. soul, and body. Yeah. Yeah. And if you know of a leader, I invite you to join us in praying for them, mm. in honoring them, Mm. through taking a moment in this prayer meeting mm. to commit them into God's hands. Mm. Let Thank us pray. Mm. Mm. Oh Lord God, our Heavenly Father, once again we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts for your yes. goodness and your love. Yes, Lord. yes Lord. Oh Lord God, our Heavenly Father, thank you for the leaders that you have given us. Yes, Father. Oh Lord God, we pray for leaders at every level. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray for His Majesty the King and all those who serve under Him. Yes, Father. We pray for all those who serve in government. We pray for all those who serve in organizations. Yes. We pray for church leaders. We yes. pray for our pastors. We pray yes. for leaders in every sphere of life yes. in yes. this nation. Yes, Father. Oh, Jehovah God, we pray that you give them wisdom. Yes. yes. Lord, that you give them direction. Yes. Lord, we pray that you protect them from any manner of danger. Yes, Father. Lord, we pray, Lord, that even as they lead, Lord, they will lead in such a way that in everything they do, they will bring honor and glory to your name. Yes, Father. Oh, Jehovah God, thank you, Lord, that we can tend to you even at this time, Lord. Yes, Knowing Lord. that you are there for us. Yes, yes. That our leaders are not on their own, Lord. Yes, Lord. That as we pray for them, Lord, you are a faithful God. Yes. You hear us, Lord. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you are with each and every leader. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that you are directing them. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that you are giving them, giving them wisdom. Yes. And Lord, that all those that they lead, all those that were under them, Lord, they will experience that Lord, the God of heaven is with us. Yes. In this, in this, even in this situation, Lord, yes. that nothing, Lord, is going to affect us negatively. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for the peace. Thank you, Lord, that we will know that you are there for us. Yes, for your word says that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And finally, we would like to take a moment to pray for Liberty Church globally. I'm going to ask Mom to just lift up all of those who are part of the family of Liberty Church, uh, whether it's in London, in New York, in St. Pete, or here in Manzini, or even the locations that are yet to come, mm -hmm. that there will be growth in this church, yeah. mm -hmm. that there will be revival mm -hmm. in this church. You know, we are praying that there will be growth in the numbers, mm -hmm. but we are also praying that we will grow in our understanding of the Lord. Yeah. Yes. We are praying that our souls will prosper, yeah. yes. you know, that the parts of us that are still broken will be made whole as we continue to follow Jesus, mm. to thrive in community and make a difference. So I invite mom to pray over all of Liberty Church. Thank you. Mm. Oh Lord God, Heavenly Father, yes, thank, you. thank you Lord for your love. Mm. Yes. You showed your love Father when you gave our lead pastor a vision for Liberty Church Manzini. Mm, yes. To birth this family of the body of Christ, Father, with a vision, Lord, that would be a blessing, Father. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray for Liberty Church Global. Yes, yes Father. We mm. pray for all the communities yes. of Liberty Church. Yes, yes Lord. Father. Lord God, we pray for the pastors. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Father, we pray for all those who are leading, mm -hmm. the coaches, the captains, mm -hmm. oh Lord God. Father, we pray for all those who partner with Liberty Church mm -hmm. in different ways, yes. to pray, to support, mm -hmm. to encourage, mm -hmm. oh Lord God. Father, we pray that during this season, Father, we grow Father, our cups are filled to overflowing yes, yes, Father. with your love mm. yes, so that we continue mm. to love yes. more and more mm. so yes. that the love of Jesus Christ 
would overflow further mm. in yes, the Lord. cities that you have placed each Liberty Church community. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God, mm. we pray that we we'll stay rooted and grounded in your word. Yes, yes Lord. Father. Father, that we shall cause our light to shine so that mm. more mm. would come to know Jesus. Yes, yes And as they come to know Jesus, they will make him known, mm. Father, yes. to their families, mm. Father, yes. to the people they meet along the way, mm. Father, yes. just as we all continue to do. And Father, that as Liberty Church, we'll continue to thrive in yes. the communities that you have placed us and make mm. a difference yes. mm. to all those in our yes. communities, Father, mm. yes. that lives would become better, mm. communities will become better. Yes. Your light will shine. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God, we yes. pray, we continue to pray, Father, that we shall grow as we are growing, Father, in, in knowing you, in knowing Jesus, mm. in working out our salvation with mm. fear and trembling. Mm. Father, we shall also grow in number mm. yes, as Lord. it is time for the harvest to come yeah. in. Mm. Yes, and Lord. Father, that as more come in, Father, it is your name that will be praised. Yes, it is Lord. your name that will be glorified. Mm. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Lord, for this family of Liberty Church Manzini as part of the body of Christ. Yes. We pray for love. Bind us together with more and more of your love. Mm. And help us, Father, to be a light, Father, to all those, Father, to see that we are yours, for yes. we love one another. Mm. Yes, yes, Thank Father. you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for yes, all Lord. that you have done for us, Thank Father. Mm. We have seen your love as Liberty Church Manzini. We have Lord. seen your goodness. And we are thankful. Yes. We praise yes. you, Lord. Yes. We worship in yes. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mom. Mm -hmm. As we prepare to close, I just want to take a moment and thank you for coming and being a part of our prayer gathering on behalf of our lead pastors, Paul and Andy, who are based in New York. We want you to know that it was an honor to get to spend this hour with you. Mm -hmm. And you know, as we round off, I want to round off with what I said at the beginning just as a reminder you know at some point during this prayer meeting i became a bit thirsty um, and i drank from this cup mm -hmm. and it's it's empty again mm -hmm. um, and we live in a world that is thirsty mm -hmm. yeah we live in a world that is hungry mm -hmm. you know like zindi was talking about mm -hmm. we live in a world that is trying to find true satisfaction mm -hmm. and the, the the purpose of revival is so that like these cups, we could feel the thirst, we could quench the thirst of this world mm -hmm. by shining our lights and bringing people to a place where they encounter Jesus Christ. Our vision is to know Christ and make him known. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as our cups are filled, we get the opportunity to go into this world and help others drink of the living water. Yeah. So be encouraged to continue yes. to fill yourself up with the love of God. Be encouraged to continue to fill yourself up with the love, with the word, with the spirit of God. Right up until overflowing. Because you are the light of the world. Mm. You are the light of the world. Mm. And when they see you, when they encounter the light that is coming from you, they will give glory to your Father in heaven. Yeah. So be blessed. Have a wonderful day. We look forward to joining together in the service tomorrow. And may the Lord bless you and keep you in all that you do. Amen. 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 Amen.